that when I go to the kitchen, I want to open my refrigerator and all of a sudden there is a note there of that positive thinking, then it will manifest, it will happen. So, and that's what they're teaching to a lot of people. They're telling people to do that. So, and what that comes with is that now you have to activate your mind and you have to keep thinking of something. So you're thinking of an object of your desire because you're desiring something and you want to get something. So that thing is an object because you want to acquire it. And that comes with a number of different things. A, that you're not complete as you are, the way you are. So that indicates that you're not whole, you're not complete, you're not good enough. There's something, there's a number of different things missing in you. And you have to go and acquire these objects to complete you. So that's number one. Two is that you're activating your mind. You're giving the mind more power. You're powering it up. And this is the same mind that drives you crazy. This is the same mind that always creates issues for you because it's dwelling in the past or it's a worried about the future. So now you're empowering this thing called mind and you're becoming a slave to it because it's been driving you crazy all of your life and it's been the source of a lot of misery now you're empowering it you understand is this making any sense yeah yeah good so why would I empower, why would I want to empower my enemy? Why would I empower an element that is making me suffer and worry and, and some the mind that takes me to these places that creates with all these thoughts that I'm not good enough, I don't love myself, I'm not worthy. Why would I want to empower this? or going to the past, continuously thinking about past events, mistakes, things have happened, whatever, whatever has happened. I've done something good or bad, or, or I've been left out, I've been dumped, rejected, and give it more power and keep dwelling in the past, or going into the future and continuously being worried about what's going to happen. or fantasizing about what I would like to happen. Something happens to makes me happy. So basically, again, it just comes back to this not being complete and not being whole, not being good enough, basically. So our manipulating, it's a system of trying to manipulate things because I'm trying to use the power of the mind by thinking positive or thinking of an, about an object or a situation that I want to happen continuously to manipulate existence to go my way. Basically, you know, you wanted things to go your way. I mean, everybody wants want things to go their way. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that, of wanting things to go your way. Don't take me wrong. I don't want you to feel guilty that you want things to go your way. That's not a bad thing or a wrong thing. But it's just empowering this phenomenon called mind. And now you're becoming the slave because it's a horrible 
master and a wonderful slave. Once you master the mind, it's a wonderful tool to use it. You can do amazing things with it. But if you lose the reins and it becomes the master that most of us, all of our lives, the mind's been ruling us, then it creates a lot of suffering. A lot of suffering. So then, and, you know, I'll talk more in details about all these things. And the next thing is focus. Okay, so I sometimes around or I've been around people like, let's say I feel a little bit like I'm coming down with a cold or something. And I say, oh, you know, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. And I have these people jump, jump in there and saying, no, 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 no. Zaratustra, don't say that. Don't say that. Because if you say that, it's going to manifest and you're, you're going to have a cold. So now, con continuously, you're uncomfortable and you cannot say, hey, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. Because now your attention is continuously on what to say. So you have to say positive stuff. Because if you say something negative, then that's going to manifest. But if you say the positive stuff, that's what's going to manifest. It's going to be positive. And now you're activating, you're continuously thinking about saying positive, being positive. Now, I'm not talking about not being positive or negative. Yes, it's good to have your life and being positive because, and having a positive outlook to life. And that's not what I'm referring to, because we all know what it's like to be around people who are negative. I mean, I've had my share of being living with or being around people who are negative. And, and it's very draining and not comfortable. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is continuously watching what you're saying and not saying anything negative. That if you say something negative, it's going to manifest itself and happen. And all of these three things we talked about, it's delusional and way, way far away from the truth of what is. None of them are going to take you to freedom and help you become awakened completely. Actually, it puts you more into sleep because all these three things, which all same thing pretty much, is empowering the illusion of separation. It's creating this feel that we all have that we are individual entities separated from the source separated from the whole capable of creating things basically objects of our desires we're capable of creating them by the power of our thoughts So it's reinforcing this sense of separation, reinforcing this sense that I'm an individual entity capable of having my own free will and I can do this and I can do that. It reinforces that. So you remain a person instead of being totality instead of being that so you so by that way of thinking or being or that mentality it, it reinforces the illusion of separation 